everyone, welcome back to my channel. The Sephora sale is here, so I've got my two videos, my makeup video, and then skincare, hair, all, everything else. Um, some things you've heard about before, some things are a little bit newer that I'm adding. Um, just because I don't list something in here doesn't mean I don't love it. Uh, I, like, I don't like to make these videos a total repeat of stuff that I've shared in the past for my Sephora videos, but anyway, let's go. Um, Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. This is, it's almost at holy grail status for me. I, it feels so oily and so dewy, but doesn't stay that way. Like sets almost. It is such a magical foundation SPF tint. Love it. Um, Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. Love, love, love this foundation as well. Summer Fridays, shade drops. They really killed it with this. Love it so much. Concealer wise, I love my Hourglass concealer. I'm either using that or the Tarte Powerflex. Um, they don't carry the Shape Tape Creamy during the Sephora sale, so I'm not even gonna mention it. Okay, um, mascaras, Superhero, It Cosmetics, Holy Grail for me. The Ilia. Um, which one is this? The fullest volumizing mascara. And then of course my Tarte tubing mascara, which I love. If you really don't like removing mascara, you like, you know, using a cleanser, all that sort of thing. Tubing mascaras come off with water and they just, the tubes like come off right in your fingers. So it is super easy to remove. Um, okay. okay. I've got some bronzers. Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer is everything. I have a feeling it's gonna go so fast too though, but it is so good. I have the shade one, fair. Um, the Patrick Ta Duo, the cream and powder bronzer in She's Statuesque. I love the tone, I love the texture. The Say Cream Beauty, um, the, the Say Beauty Cream Bronzer in light bronze. Love this as well. Um, of course my Holy Grail. Oh, the Tarte one. I do love that one. I'm like, is that carried? Um, on Sephora during this Sephora sale. I think it is. I want to talk about some newer ones. And the Rare Beauty um, Bronzing Stick. I do like this one a lot. This is Power Boost. It's a little orange. Many of you told me to go to the next shade up, which is more gray. So I might, but I'm like, I already have this. So, but I do love the formula. It is very, very creamy. Um, powder wise, love the Hourglass. That's one of my favorite loose powders, along with the Tatcha. Um, Okay, highlighters, the Say Dewy um, Gel uh, in Star Glow, love it. And the Ilia Liquid Light Serum Highlighter in Nova. Both of these, this is a little bit more watery and sheer. I feel like this one is a little more pigmented, but both are stunning. Can be mixed with foundation, but look good on the cheeks. That is a great product if you're someone that doesn't wear makeup and you're like, I don't want to wear foundation, but I sometimes I love the look of like a highlighted cheekbone. Those, because they're like a serum watery texture. They literally look like your skin is just glowing from who knows what. Freshness. Um, Charlotte Tilbury, the Beauty Light Wand in Spotlight. This one is very good. Oh, the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Highlighters. In Pearlescent Glow, it is magnificent. Love how small it is also, so you're not worried about applying too much. Absolutely stunning. Um, okay, we've got some blushes here. Is that everything? I, like, I'm never really going categories, but today I'm going in categories. Let's make sure nothing's on my teeth. Um, blushes, the Hourglass Blush Sticks, any of the shades. If you love a neutral blush, like not very peachy, not very pinky, they have some good neutral shades. Um, love the formula. I just, so you know, pretty much if I am talking about a cream blush or bronzer, with the exception of the Rare Beauty, I like a drier cream. I don't like it super emollient, super moisturizing because my skin is combination and it doesn't work well with me. So often the cream products I do recommend are a little bit, little bit drier. Um, the Ilia um, Multi Stick in In The Mood, I love this um, color. They are a little bit 
um, they're a little dry and sometimes you have to kind of like, you know, really kind of work it off. And as I put it on, I'm kind of like, oh, it doesn't feel like it's like coming on. It's very sheer. So I build this up and then I like let it dry and then I add more. That's what I found best to making this last all day. Cause if you just swipe it on, it's going to be gone. But I swipe on a ton and then like kind of blend it out, let it sit. And then I apply more. And that's been the key for me. Um, I recently got to try some new Sticks Press. I used to use them a ton and then they reached out and sent me some new things. Um, the all over blush stick. Oh, I always do that. I always turn the bottom here. It's turning this thing in juicy melons. It's what I have on my cheeks today. It's <gasps> oh, it's so good. It's just like that gorgeous peachy color that I love on the lips. Um, blush. Uh, Powder wise, I love the new Gucci blushes. This is the shade Silky Rose. Um, they are very teeny tiny, but it's Gucci. So, I mean, the reality is like they're not, they really are not caring about like how much you're getting versus the price. They're like, we're Gucci. So, just know it's teeny tiny. The Laura Mercier powder blushes, love, 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 love. This is the shade Passion Fruit, but she has a lot of these kind of like fruity, um, bright cheek shades, which I love. All right, let's get on to eyes. Um, the Tom Ford Cream palette in Rose Topaz, gorgeous. Um, none of my quads ever have brushes because Miles immediately takes them. So they'll never, I don't even know where they are. So, okay. Um, Rose Topaz, love it. Absolutely stunning. Um, the Hourglass Scattered Light Cream Eyeshadows. This is the color Reflect. Love these um, two eyeshadow sticks that I always go back to, Bobbi Brown and Laura Mercier. They both make great eyeshadow crayon sticks. Uh, oh my gosh, I didn't think they made this anymore, so I haven't been talking about it, but y'all, I still love my Natasha Denona Glam Palette. It is, it is, it is holy grail status. It's like goat. Okay, the best ever. Um, the colors, the texture, she killed it with this. Um, but they still have it. So that's exciting. Um, all right. Lip wise, uh, the By Mario lip plumping. I have this on top of like another color, which is why it look, probably looks more intense. Um, it does not this intense, but I love these. This is in Bare Glow. Um, the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips, the plumping or the regular, love them both. I didn't like the cream as much. I will say that. Did not like the cream texture as much. Love the plumping and love the original Juicy Lip. Laura Mercier, the um, Soft Petal. Why don't they put the names on the side? The Petal Soft Lipstick Crayons. These are, for those of you who are like, I don't want glossy. I like my lips to be not so creamy, shiny, whatever. These are a soft matte, not matte, but a soft matte. And there is a difference. They go on velvety smooth. The finish is flawless. It looks like your lips are just like well moisturized um, without being shimmery or glossy. It's like, they're just, it, they're beautiful. Also the Hourglass Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balm. <laughs> I uh, love these as well. Um, oh, I had to throw this in there because I've been so into using a brush for my concealer right now. The Hourglass um, Concealer Brush, this one that's kind of like shaped at an angle. It is fantastic. Um, oh, and the two products that I didn't, oh, I have them right on the floor here. Well, the Tom Ford Soleil Neige um, palette in Chalet Lust. I do like it. Um, it's not a huge hit for me, like texture wise. They were a little too chunky of a glitter, but um, I like the cream palette better and Tom Ford new dip. Like, let's give a round of applause. I The texture of that palette is unlike any of his other palettes, I feel like. Do you guys agree? Like it is, I don't know. The, the, it, I just wish all of his palettes were that texture. The, the texture on those shimmers are fantastic. The color's fantastic. It's the best. Oh, and the Charlotte Tilbury um, Hypnotizing Pop Shot, whatever, in rose gold. It's okay. Um, I don't love it, but it's nice. So I have a little bit of my crease here. Actually, I'm wearing the Tom Ford Chalet Lust palette on my eyes. 
Uh, my stomach is growling, so I think I should end this video and go eat something. Uh, I will link everything that I talked about down below as well as the Sephora sale details. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.